Hello and welcome to the South Fiordland Bush Flying Series. And if you're new to me and this video series, check the link in the description to episode number one, which will tell you all about this, where we are, what we're doing, etc. Well, the first thing we're going, going to be doing is take off. So according to the Fjord Tours brochure which we're following, uh, for our next stop we take the trip up to Revolver Bay. You can explore the shops while your pilot takes the opportunity to fill up with fuel. Now, it won't take long to get there as it's fairly close and when we do there are trees at the threshold at both ends of the runway but it's one of the longest runways in South Theorton so there's lots of room to miss the trees land quite long and still get stopped quite easily with plenty of room to spare. And then when we do land there's a few shops here including a reasonable size field wear outlet. And if you're new to South Theorton then field wear underpants are quite simply the best underwear known to mankind. Uh, people do come to this country simply to buy the underpants. Uh, they did form quite a large part in the trade deals between New Zealand and South Fiordland as well, as New Zealanders can now get a small discount on Fiordwear underpants uh, if they produce their Kiwi passport and of course their certificate to prove that they don't own a duck. Although whatever nationality you are, there is a fuel station at this airfield and you will need a certificate of non-duck ownership to use that. Now, I know many other countries are quite lax with things like that, but South Fiordland has always been very strict regarding the rules over what people who do own a duck are allowed to do. what we can do for a landing then. Yeah, I said we could land quite long and we certainly did there, didn't we? We're down and all good. Right then so oh, there's a missing object box. Don't know what that was. I think there was a might have been a little hut or something just in that corner. Uh, not sure, but I don't think it was adding anything major to the scenery. So rather than mess around trying to find something to replace it, I could probably just delete that missing object and nobody would even notice. Uh, all the shops are custom objects so there's nothing going to be wrong with those. The fuel area looked okay. If there was going to be anything else missing it would have been over there but that looks fine so yeah I think this one's okay. <laughs> 